started kissing, it got a little more escalated. Oh, you fell in love with Daryl. Yes. We were in love, we became infatuated and fell in love. The first time you, you and she had sex. He was enthusiastic about it. We were both enthusiastic, yes. We shut him with the door and we were just hoping he'd go out of the night. Did you love Matt? Very much. Yeah, I was in love with him. You were in love with him. Yes, very much. A lot more than I was, Victor. Bobby was like my first true love. I thought you said the relationship with Mr. Alexander was very stressful. Some of the sex wasn't. So you did enjoy the sex then, is that what you're telling me? At times I did. We explored every naughty fantasy we could conjure up in our fruitful imaginations. I love him, I really do. And you were enjoying it, weren't you? Yes. We were kissing and then she eventually kind of grabbed me and that's when she got on top of me. And that was okay, right? I'm single. I like being handled, but yeah, I totally will handle you. Tonight, Jody Arias, Men and Lovers. It's a long list that doesn't even end after Arias murders lover Travis Alexander. Tonight, a courtroom stunned by graphic sexual testimony and a revolving door of Arias's many, many men. Maybe the most shocking piece of evidence presented at trial, exhibit number 428, the phone sex tape between Arias and Travis Alexander. A tape Arius records and saves. But why? Does Arius intend to one day blackmail Travis Alexander with a sex tape? Take a listen to taped evidence that leaves the jury stunned. Viewer discretion advised. There have been a few times where I've been bold enough to just pull you onto the bed and start and Oh my gosh, you remember that time I came to visit you when I was still living in California? And I fell asleep on your chair next to your bed. And you just like woke me up by pulling my pants off and totally licking my Yeah. I was so embarrassed because I just like got my Brazilian on and I was like worried about what it looked like. And I was like, ah, and the lights were bright and they were on. I was all self-conscious. <laughs> but I remember that was hot. Yeah, eventually we're both gonna remarry people and I just get the feeling that there aren't a lot of Mormon guys like that. And there may or may not, I'm sure there are plenty of freaky Mormon girls, but are they the marrying type? I shouldn't say that. I'm, I'm just saying, are they the type that you'd want to marry or are the guys out there the type that I'd want to marry? And, and I don't know, like, I really would like to marry some um, a return missionary, but like you, someone who can be freaky, like, I just worry about that. There are plenty of nice people out there, but like, uh, I worry that I might feel like a wilting flower is all who never really blossomed to her full potential at least in the sexual realm I feel like I have with you but like I still have plenty of blossom time left and I want to live all those years being that way I'm going to tell you to this way and put it in your ass, by the way what's that? I'm going to tie you to a tree and put it in your ass, by the way oh my gosh that is so debasing. I like it. <laughs> is it tie your arms around the tree? Blindfold you. And uh, put the picture the camera on a time and while Oh my gosh. You are full of ideas. It takes creativity to top ourselves. 